Hi everybody! Hi everybody! Welcome to the Bar and Danny <laughs> Donut Show! Yay! Woo! So it's already May, can you believe it? It's not May yet. Oh, okay. Well, now our secret's out. This show is pre recorded, but don't go away, no, Donut I mean, Gallery. It's not May yet. We I know, it's April. Next week is May? Barbie. The show right now is no. on Saturday, May 2nd. Wait, wait, wait. It's May. The day is t the 27th? Oh. No, you don't have to tell people when we recorded it. You just okay. have to say it's pre-recorded because we yeah, are not in our believe, donut studios this May. weekend. It'll be May 1st? Today's May 2nd. Wow. And if you're in the donut gallery, say hello. In fact, we're hoping our really good hello. friends, Barb and Danny Donuts, might be in the donut gallery today if they're able to get a good internet signal. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. So it's very, we might, well, we can't even go in the treehouse anymore. So <laughs> if you're in the donut gallery watching live today, watching on the live, on the watch party, um, Please like let us know. Always, always give a comment because when I'm like behind the camera and Barb's doing her craft and stuff, it'll say, "Oh, so and so is watching. So and so is watching." And then we watch the show later, and those like notifications that you're watching don't show up. So it's really sad when I knew somebody was watching, but then they I don't leave you, a comment. I thought you used to hate it when people would be doing shows like this, live shows, and they'd have they're, comments coming and up. And they're just talking to everybody. I did. Yeah. But then, you know, the quarantine yeah, hit in. And there's yeah. cool. So when we're doing the show live, we have a big monitor so we can see some of those comments. But Well, okay. Let's get on with the show. Let's get on with the show. It's time for the Barbara and Danny Donut Show. Rolling from city to city, spreading lots of laughter and good cheer. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery. All we have is now, and today we are here. Big Tony, keep on turning. Turning! Laughing, loving, and learning. <laughs> Go nuts! Donuts. Donuts. donuts! With Barb and Danny Donuts. With Barb and Danny Donuts. Go nuts! Go nuts! Go nuts! Go nuts! With Barb and Danny Donuts. Barb and Danny Donuts. With the do 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 you're stuck at home and it's a pity What you gonna do on this holiday? Get up and off your fanny and dance with Barb and Danny We got 30 minutes of laughter and play Big don't to keep on turning Turning! Laughing, loving and learning Learning! Go nuts! Go nuts! Go nuts! Go nuts! With Barb and Danny Donuts With Barb and Danny Donuts Go nuts! Go nuts! Go nuts! Go nuts! With Barb and Danny Donuts Barb and Danny Donuts We got two, 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 two Wait, you don't have to do that because we have a studio audience today. There they are. Yay! There's a little delay. Sorry about that. All right, it's time for your favorite part of the show. It's Barb's craft time. But it's not just my craft time this time. What do you mean? I have a guest art, a guest artist, performer, creator, a co-conspirator. And who is your special guest crafter today? Oh, I think you'll all be able to recognize that person. So we'll just let them come right into the studio and help along here. Hi everybody! I get to be in the craft segment today. I'm so excited. I've always like wanted to be like the part of the person that gets to do the crafting, but Barb's much more craftier and stuff. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. You're very creative. You're noisier than me when you're making Speaking your crafts. Speaking of noise, do we have a good craft for you today? Barb, how would you like to build a canjo with me? That sounds cool. Cool. So kids at home... Wait, what's a canjo? It's like a banjo made out of a can. It's a, actually a one-string diddly bow. So we're gonna make a one-string guitar out of a simple can, I want a and can. a string. That's all we got. So one of these. So kids at home, 
adults at home, whatever. Get yeah, your you, can. You can use beer cans. Yeah, any any can will work. <laughs> you can even use a soup, soup can and stuff. But yeah, they um, got wine cans now. Really? Yeah. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is we have a couple pieces of wood here. You can use a broom handle, just a chunk of wood. These ones here, 24 inches broom um, handle would long. Be pretty long. You could cut it down. So okay. anyway, we are going to first take a can and drill a little hole in the bottom. And uh, I'm using a does one- Does it matter where you put Yes, the it hole? does. A 1 16th drill bit. See, the string is gonna go in through the backside of the can and out the drinking hole. So you wanna put your, your hole right in towards the bottom. So <laughs> there you go, Barb, if you wanna- Wait, I think I know where I to put the hole, right there? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Let me do this, because you know how Might I... want to set it down. Oh, We've so almost I... had to go to the emergency room <laughs> because Barb and a drill once, but... Yeah, but that was... That was oh, your... Wait! Here. Oh. I can... Okay, is that going to work? Yeah, close enough. All right. Here, you use that can. How close do they have to be? Now, you can use any kind of string imaginable, but we happen to know a lot of musicians and... Um, guitar players and they're always changing their strings. So if you know of any cool musicians say, hey, can I have some of your used guitar strings? Especially you know, cool there's... if they give you the ones with the little ball at the end of it, because then you don't have to tie a knot. But, if but you're... you know there's also artists that are making those bracelets out of guitar See, strings See, that's what too. you could do next week maybe, make yeah. a I've never guitar done string before. bracelet. Okay, but this is what okay. you need to do. We already drew a, uh, I already pre-drilled this, but just take your 1 16th drill bit and drill a hole towards the bottom of your, oh, okay. the bottom of the your. The bottom. I'm like, this hole's big. <laughs> so then Put take, yep, take your guitar string one Does it side. Does which side if, of the wood I No, have if you the... have a, you, whatever side you want out. So, yeah, actually it does, because uh, I made some pencil marks. Oh. See, that's what they do when you do TV shows to I make these craft. I want to put it in. Okay. Now, if you're using a piece of string or whatever, you're going to want to tie a knot there really tight and pull as hard as you can so it doesn't come out. But luckily, we were using the guitar strings with the little ball at the end of it. So then, this is the hardest part of the whole project. Taking your can, putting the guitar string in there and then somehow fishing it out. I got some tools laid out here, some needle nose pliers, some little tiny screwdriver hook things, whatever will work. But if you're lucky, you can get this. Oh, see, look at how mine is. Mine came out. Look at, good job. And I can see the top of mine, so I'm gonna go in here with the. Ooh, this is gonna be noisy. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it's not live and we can adjust the sound. Now, I made a little mark on our piece of wood, and then I made a little mark here. You wanna um, have a number that's easily divisible by three, unless you wanna do tough math. So I made mine 15 inches apart, because we wanna divide that, um, be able to divide that in thirds, so. Why? I'll show you why later. You know what we need? Duct tape! What color duct tape do you want? Um, purple. I don't even know if there's purple down there. I think there's black and white, maybe zebra or something. Oh, I hear them. Did you find purple? Of course. You got purple duct tape, just what I wanted. And purple. then I'm going to use yellow. This looks like Minnesota Viking colors. Yes. Go Viking. Yeah, but we have some listeners maybe in the donut gallery from Minnesota. You know, Mike and marry, Angela Baker. I was going to marry Donnie Osmond when and I was And he had younger. purple socks. Oh, he wore purple all the time. She married Danny Donuts with Blackhawk <laughs> socks instead. So. And donut socks and Alright. So So which way is my can supposed to face up? Oh you wanna have the hole at the bottom, the bottom. there. So the okay. string is going in and, and out and, and coming then... out. So right now, because I made that little mark because we're we're gonna make ours fifteen inches. If you can do eighteen inches, uh, you might have and your string is long enough, that's cool too. Take some duct tape. I'm just gonna loosely tape the can on there. It doesn't really even have to be on there all that tight because the string is gonna hold a lot of it in place. You could screw it down, nail it down, do a whole bunch of different things, use tie wraps and stuff, but just a little bit of just duct tape side? will work. No, nope, I put it on both sides. Oh. 
Now the diddly bow is an old blues instrument um, on the, the playing in the front porches across rural America down in the deep south and then everyone had guitar centers near them and they had to build their own instruments and I like building my own instruments. Heck, I would think one string is a lot easier to play than four. Well, one let alone 12. So. <clears throat> yeah, like Big D and get to play 12 string guitars. <laughs> this is only the one string guitar and stuff. So this is a beginning, this could be a beginning guitar. Oh yeah, and that's how a lot of uh, kids might have started out in the, when they're learning the blues. In fact, uh, some people say that they'd have to actually take a, a broom, the, the wire that held the broom on, they would take that and nail, put a nail in the porch and another nail, um, and they'd connect that wire and they'd put like a, a glass jar underneath it and they'd play it and they'd come up with cool sounds. Really? So we have our can taped down and now we're going to put a couple more holes in. This time I'm going to, this was a 1 16th drill bit. I'm going to go to the 3 16th drill bit this time. And the screws I'm going to be using are... So this could be like a mathematical test. Oh, there's a so lot of for, math and music yeah, but and so building. Yeah, so people that think, or kids that think, oh, I'm not going to need to learn, learn this math later on in life. Yes, you are. So uh, that's a 3 sixteenths? Yep, 3 sixteenths. So that's how many times bigger than his 1 sixteenths drill? Adults, you might need to figure this out too. I have no idea what the answer is. 1 16, 2 16, 3 16, 2 times bigger? If you start out with 1 16, how do you get to 3 16? Add 2 more 16. <laughs> times 2! Alright. Er. Um, now, what you're going to be doing, times I three. have it's a little it's eye times. bolt. See, the, I meant 3. <laughs> the eye bolt. One times three is three. Yeah. This eye bolt is a three sixteenths by two inches to fit into Here's our piece mine. of wood. Our piece of wood is here. Our piece of wood is just about three quarters of an inch thick here. So we're gonna use the one that's about two inches. I took the nut and screwed it all the way on. Then I'm going to put a, a washer in there. Now it doesn't matter where you drill this hole. Our 15 inch hole is going to be right here. That's going to be, they actually call that the nut in, this would be the bridge and a guitar and this is a nut and a donut. Yes. But where the, this is going to be our guitar tuner right there and we're going to put that in. You need a washer too? Yeah. There's washers here. We're using size 10 screws. This is 1024. Um, uh, my screw, uh-uh. I don't have a screw like that. Sure you do. No, I don't. I it's the same thing. thing. It's not the same thing as this. Well, no, same size threads. Yeah, but we got a loop on it. Yes, it's an eye bolt. An right. eye bolt. So I put my eye bolt in with a nut and a washer on there. And on the bottom side, I'm going to put a flat washer and then a lock washer, or you can use a lock nut. And at least one nut. I might double nut it. We'll decide about that <laughs> later. <clears throat> now the part that on a guitar that's known as the nut, which is at the top of the headstock, we're just going to use a screw, the one that I just held up, a 1024 is the one that I have, which is, you know, either one and a quarter or one and a half inches. And I did the same thing. I put the... Uh, Does it matter which way this is facing? Not all the way. Not yet. We're going to tie the, okay. the guitar string to that. So I'm going Sorry to... to yes, yeah, I'm going to put... So like interrupting cow. Moo. A... We have the screw, the nut, and the washer. We're going to put that on the... Now, make sure when you're buying this screw, you don't want to just get a uh, Phillips head. You either have to have a uh, regular a flathead um, um, for a flathead screwdriver or the combo head um, because you need to have the, the cord is actually, the guitar string is going to ride right on there. It's going to oh, be really cool. cool. So on the back side, I'm you going to... This all out. Well, I watched some YouTube videos, but maybe people will be watching our YouTube videos and finding out how to build a canjo. Uh, what I'm going to do is just tie the Oops. string. I'm going to tie the string around the eye bolt, and I'm going to be able to start twisting it. I'm going to put it through a couple times. Get it as tight as I can now. And then you don't have to turn it as much. You might even have to like put in a screwdriver and 
get that. And as you start to get it tight, you can start to start to hear the tension on this guitar string. Sounds good. Okay, I have a little guitar tuner here. You can actually tune this thing? Yes. Now to tune the guitar, um, you might have to loosen that up a little bit, maybe use pliers to, to tune it. But let's see, we have the, the guitar string going out through the bottom of the wood, coming through the bottom of the can, out the drinking hole, all the way across to the bridge. It sits right in that um, slot right there and is going up to the guitar tuner. And we got a pick, but one of the cool things about a canjo is you can play it like a slide guitar. Let me just double check my tuning there. The reason I said you want to have your um, your string length here uh, divided in threes, uh, make it easy to, to do the math, is because this. We are going to look at... 15 inches right there, mm -hmm. and we're going to divide that in half. So what's that? Seven and a half. All right, we need a pencil. See, a reason why you need to know your math. So we're going to make a line at seven and a half. Go from where the string touches, the comes out of the can there, to the part where it goes over the nut. Seven and a half inches is about right there. All right, that is going to be the full octave, I believe. When we take our guitar slide, which is just a handy dandy little piece of copper, right? Yes. Now, what is one third of? Seven and a half? Yes. One third? No, one half of um, 15. One third of 15. One third of fifteen is five. Right. So we're gonna take five inches from five. the five inches from the top and go from the nut where the string goes over that little screw, and we're gonna make a mark there. And then we're going to take uh, seven and a half and divide that by two. What's that I, gonna I, be? What is it? Seven and a half divided by two. Well, Seven divided by two is three and a half. So a half divided by two is a quarter. So three and a half plus a half plus a quarter is three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Well, he does. What was it? Seven? What did you have? Seven and seven? a half. $7 and 50 cents divided into <laughs> a half. Three dollars and 75 cents. This is too much math for this. So I like this my early rock in the morning. projects better. Three, three and three quarter inches. My rock projects, you don't have to do three all and, this math. Three it's and three quarter easier. inches. All right. So check this out. In the blues, you have to play the one, four, five chord. So there's your one chord. Your first line on there is going to be the four chord, and then the five chords. The next one, and that first line you made is a full octave. So now we can go. <laughs> Music out of a canjo. That sounds really cool. Thanks. Um, so if you have any questions about how to build a canjo, just uh, leave a message and uh, I'll try to help you build it. So pretty cool for uh, you know for two dollars, two dollar guitar upcycling. Yeah, upcycling. You don't get the nickel or whatever, but you get a cool, a cool instrument to play. Now, my first diddly bow I built was a cigar box diddly bow. I actually built it for Barb. Now, I use a 5.8 socket as my guitar slide. I know Big D sometimes use a, a beer bottle and stuff. I'll show you my diddly bow that I built for Barb one night, and I did use a guitar tuner uh, right there. I used a hose clamp, but there, this is the cigar box, and I actually electrified this. It's really cool. Let me just give you a sneak peek there. I put in a little speaker and wired that up to a quarter inch cord right there. So, hey, you wanna see a, you wanna see a picture of my kids? There's a picture of my kids, and they're my pride and joy. So I'm gonna do a song called Pride and Joy. Bum, bum. Yeah.
so much fun last week if uh, you know what song Barb is whistling and performing the first person to put that in the comments and get it right we will send you a Barb magnet a magnet that Barb uh, made one of a kind out of a rock and a magnet it'll be really cool so um, here's the deal though this song I even didn't know the real title so it actually has two acceptable titles um, the original title from like the 1890s and then a more common uh, title and we're going to give it to the first person who gets one of the first two accurate titles right all right please ladies and gentlemen welcome Barb Test. We'll let you know in the, in the comments, but we'll also announce it next week. Thank you, Barb. Thank you. Our game this week, I thought I would challenge Barb into seeing if she could fit through this hoop. Now this is a wheelchair handle, you know, when you're in a wheelchair and stuff, and I, I used a wheelchair uh, on the Yellow Submarine as the first wheels, and now Where'd it's on the polka cart in the shed. I was cleaning out the shed yesterday. So do you think you can like fit through this like one leg at a time? Uh, no. How yeah. do you do it? It's, it's easy. You just go one leg, and then you have to just kind of go down and... Ugh. Mine is your... Oh, wow. So do you think you could I, yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. Wait, just to show it. you, this is about 19 and a half inches. 19 and a half inch hoop. Huh. Okay, so leg in and then head down. 
No hands? Woo! <laughs> okay, I did that one. Well, I actually built some smaller ones too. So let's see. The next one I built was 17 inches. Do you th think she could put the, get in this at 17 inches? This looks kind of tiny. What'd you make this out of? What'd you make this out of? This is a garden hose and some plastic tubing and some yeah. duct tape. Give it a try. Anybody can Let's make go, these kids. Out of 17 inches. <laughs> okay, I did that one. But do you think she can go in one that is 15 inches? 15 inches. Let's go. I gotta take my diddly bops off, I think. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, I got a few little extra curves on me. There we go. <laughs> she did it. Barb, I built one more. Oh God. Here, hold that up. What? 13 inches. No 13 inches. There's 13 inches. Let's see it. Give you go 13 inches. Do you have your phone ready for 911? <laughs> or 911? 911. 911, yeah. <laughs> okay, this part I can do. Let's see. Armin. <laughs> oh, oh shoot! I got a, I got a, oh Danny! What? I got a, a stitch a in stitch? my, I can, yeah! What does that even mean? My muscle, my rib muscle! Get this off! our show for today thanks for watching everybody yep hope you got a few more laughs how's, got your, some how's your stomach doing it's not my stomach it's right by my rib it's right under like yeah where my yeah so we should give a disclaimer if you are trying to you know i, I went through a tennis racket like that last year it was cool with no what, strings somebody was really P.O. would at you <laughs> playing tennis? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you uh, like the show and would like to um, be a sponsor, a financial gift giver, an underwriter, or... If, if it's we did totally a, optional. Yeah, just, just you know, just, yeah. um, we, we totally love when our donut gallery friends send us tips, and, and we have our, our tips, uh, virtual tip jar listed there. And I thought if we do a, a pledge drive at the $100 level, we'll send you our underdog collection, the You're ultimate part under... with that? Well, I'm going to make a copy first, but yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking Danny, for him to part with his not, wonder not dog. Underdog, yeah. I thought it was underdog. <laughs> it is underdog. Oh. Well, then what did I think it was? Yesterday, she's like, Wonder Dog? Yeah. See, I just get them mixed up. It's something about a dog, a cartoon <laughs> dog. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be live next Saturday back in Donut Studios right back here. We appreciate you spending part of your Saturday with us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you haven't already done so, click on that handsome face in the middle of the donut and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I don't see anything. And if you missed any episodes or you just want to watch them again and again, click on the playlist listed right below.